40 people wait. Just I've always been interested in space since I was a little kid. Um, I think the first time I found out about how the solar system was formed, I was kind of astonished to know that people could figure that out, even though it happened so long ago. I read a lot of science fiction when I was a kid, and I think I always wanted to be a scientist as a result. I saw Star Wars when I was seven years old, and there was no turning back. The imagination of science, inspired by science fiction, what else could I do with my life? I got interested in Star Trek for a little while, and then it, it just dawned upon me that I didn't have to focus on science fiction. There was science fact. I wanted my son to be able to experience what JPL was all about. Oh, it's a wonderful place to come and expose your children to science and how science is applied and why are they studying math? I really like space and astronomy and stuff like that. We wanted to see the new technology and space stuff and robots. We learned about the, te the technology that we're using today with the Mars rover and the Cassini, things like that. It was really cool that the scientists would talk to us about how it works and I would actually understand it. It really gives you an idea of how uh, everything's going to go on in the uh, solar system and planets. I learned how like robots are made and everything. Sometimes the easiest way to get kids excited about science is to show excitement with science. You can see light out in the infrared. I think to be interested in science, you just have to be interested in the world. Being interested in science doesn't mean that you're good at math necessarily. Being interested in science means you're good at asking questions. When I see the younger kids of today, it reminds me of myself being a child, learning about the solar system and the level of excitement that I had. And I, I really love being a part of telling them about it and watching them for the first time become excited about the solar system and what we know about space. Every kid is an explorer. As they grow and they learn, they're exploring their world. I was thinking about being like maybe a rocket engineer. I want to be a scientist when I grow. I think the robots are really cool. The Robodome. That was a lot of fun. I like the camera one where you like you put ice on your head and it turns all black. It's amazing. They have like all these robots, all this other stuff on the solar system. It's an amazing place. What's the most beautiful planet of all? Saturn and Earth. Yeah. We see things that people dreamed about years ago now become reality. It allows us to understand fundamental questions about how we fit into the cosmos, where we came from, where we're headed. We're just finding plants around other stars. I think we're going to find life hopefully in the next 10 years, maybe on Mars, maybe on the moon of Jupiter. Looking at other planets helps you understand your own planet. The idea that you can go out and you've got a whole planet to explore, or you can find new planets, uh, I think that itself is very compelling to youngsters today, just as it was 40 years ago when I was thinking about these things as a youngster.